This video is taken from my course on how to create a hybrid casual mobile game. More info in the description. All right, guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn how we can load and save our inventory. Okay. All right. So let's jump right into it. We are first going to open our inventory manager because this is going to be the one responsible for that. The first thing we want to do is remove or comment our inventory creation right here. So line 12. After that, what we can do is call the load data method, or maybe let's call it load inventory. Okay. So after harvesting a crop, we can then save the inventory. So inventory like so. Perfect. Let's now create both of these methods. So private void load inventory, private void save inventory, like so. Awesome. So as a reminder, we are going to use JSON to load and save our data regarding the inventory at least. Okay. So let's learn how to use JSON to grab some data. There is a cool utility class that you can use, and it's the JSON utility one, okay? This is the one we are going to use. So to load something from a JSON file, you can use the JSON utility dot from JSON method. And this will grab any piece of data you have at any path, okay? So let's tell that utility that we want an inventory, okay? So this is our object. And finally, we can pass in our data as a string. So this will look like something like that, data. Let's just keep things simple for now. So this is our inventory. So inventory equals that. Okay, cool. Where is that data? So it's a string. So string data equals. Our data is going to be read from a file because JSON saves to a file. Okay. So we will need to specify a string for a path for our file. But let's first grab our file. So for that, we are going to use the file class. And if you can't find it, let's just use the quick fix right here. So it's inside of the system.io library. Cool. So now we are aware of our file class. So data equals file dot read all text at a certain path. So let's first pass in data path. Okay. All right. So string data path will be equal to something. Perfect. So let's recap. At first, we are creating a, we are grabbing our data path. So the path of our text file. After that, we store all of the data using the file class inside of a data string. And finally, we convert that string to the inventory type to store it inside of our inventory. Okay. So this is the main concept of using JSON. Now we just need to specify our data path. All right. So there is different way of doing that, but let's first use the application dot data path. Okay. So this will link to our project folder. This one, when we right click show in Explorer, this folder, this is the application dot data path folder. Okay. Then you have the application dot persistent data path. And if we refer to unity, it has different locations regarding your OS. Okay. So for WebGL, it's right here. Same thing for Linux, iOS, tvOS, Android, and so on. Okay. So regarding Windows, the path is this one. So users, user, app data, local low, and then your company name. The one you can specify right here in your project settings. So player, company name. Okay. Default company. Let's actually set it to tab seal. Okay. That way it will be saved under this folder. Okay, cool. Let's now go back to our script and implement that. So right now I want to write application dot data path just to save the file in our project folder for now. Okay. Plus, uh, let's call the file data or maybe inventory data dot text. Or you can use the dot or any extension that you want. But let's use the dot text extension so that we can open it in our text in any text editor and it will be easier to, to open. Okay. Perfect. So now we are trying to read a file, but who knows if that file exists or not? Let's try and hit play in Unity first so that you can spot what's wrong. 
So when you hit play, it says that could not find the file. Of course, we haven't created it yet. So we need to create that file or at least check if the file exists or not. So let's go back to our script. Okay. And before reading the data from the file, we want to check if the file exists. So if file.exists. And we need to specify a path. So this is our data path. Perfect. So if the file exists, we want to store the data of the file inside of the data string. But we can't use the data string anymore right here. Oh, come on. That's an issue. It's a maze. <laughs> so let's actually initialize our data string right here. Perfect. Now we can remove the creation right here and we don't have any more errors. Perfect. So if our, if our file does exist, we're also going to grab this line, drop it here. Perfect. And after that, we can check if our inventory is null or not, because we might open the game, create the file and save a blank data. Okay. So we haven't harvested any crop and our inventory is still null, but our file does exist. So we still need to make sure that the inventory is not null. So if the inventory equals null, then we want to instantiate it. So inventory equals new inventory. Perfect. Now we need to cover the case where the file doesn't exist. So else. Okay. So if our file does not exist, we need to create it. So file.create at data path. So we create that file. Okay, cool. And finally, we can instantiate our, our inventory. So inventory equals new inventory. Perfect. That's all we need to do. So let's now give it a shot. Okay, so let's go back to Unity. Let's hit play. Okay, no more errors. But now we should have created our data file. So let's go to our project folder. Assets inventory data. Oh, we've got something here. Okay, so the file is currently being used by something else. This is Unity. He's currently using that file. But that's okay. Let's close it from here. All right. Let's now go back, try to open it. And it's a blank file. That's what I told you previously. You might have a blank data file. Okay. So again, we still have the assets line that we did not precise. And this is why we forgot to add a forward slash right here. Perfect. Now let's give it a shot again. So let's play. Let's open our folder. Let's remove our file right here. Okay. Perfect. Go back to Unity. Hit play. Okay, now the file should have been created. We can exit the play mode, go back right here. And now our data has been saved inside of the assets folder because this is actually the application dot data path. It's not the project folder. I made a quick mistake here, but that's okay. It's not that far. Here we go. So we now have our data, but it's an empty file. So let's now try and save something inside of our file. Okay, so let's go back to our script. Okay. And let's now implement our save inventory method to save stuff inside of our file. First off, we are going to set our data string. Okay. And this should be equals to JSON utility dot to JSON inventory. And also let's also set the pretty print to true just so that we have a better presentation of our text file. So let's set it to true. Perfect. Now that we've got our data. What we can do is write all of the data inside of our file. So file dot write all text application dot data path plus forward slash inventory data dot text dot text. Okay, perfect. And let's pass in the data. So right now we can notice that we can create an instance variable for our data path. So let's do that actually. So private string data path. Perfect. Let's instantiate it inside of the start method. So data path equals application data path plus let's call it inventory data dot text like so. Awesome. So we can now remove this line. Okay. Makes the code so much easier to read. Perfect. And we should be good. So now we just need to save the inventory, which we are doing right here in, when we harvest a crop. Perfect. So let's try that. So hit play. 
Give it a shot. Okay, so let's harvest our crops. Okay, nice. Let's exit. Let's now open our inventory data. And it's empty. It's not empty. Okay, so it does have two curly brackets. But where are where is our data? It hasn't been saved. And you know why? This is because our inventory class is okay. Perfect. But this list is is a list of inventory items, which is a custom class. So when you're using custom classes, you need to make sure to add the system.serializable attribute so that it can be serialized by the JSON utility and saved, okay? So let's now give it a shot. Okay, so let's hit play. Let's sow and water our tiles, harvest, like so, awesome. Let's now exit, open our inventory data. And here we go. It has been saved properly. So items, this is our list. Crop type zero. This is our corn. Tomato would have the crop type one. And we have nine of them, okay? So now let's go back to Unity, okay? Let's hit play and check if it has been saved or not. So we should have some debug lines here. So let's sow and water. Let's try and harvest one or so. Awesome, we now have 13 crops, so 13 pieces of corn. That's great. Let's open our inventory again, 16. Perfect, this is exactly the amount of corn that we've got. So we've successfully learned how to save and load our data using the JSON class. That's awesome, that's definitely a huge improvement in your dev skills. So what we can do in the next lesson is try and add another type of crop, so the tomato one, and check if that works properly or not. So yeah, see you in the next lesson.